Hey everyone, so today I'm doing my most requested video so far, which is a makeup collection video. And um, I'm just going to throw a disclaimer out there, just because I have to. Um, my disclaimer is that I do have a lot of makeup, so not going to lie, I mean it's not like I don't have any makeup. Um, just putting it out there, but uh, also... I don't have as much as most beauty gurus do, so I don't have as much as like Ellen Blair, I don't have as much as like Mac Barbio 7 or just like other like YouTube gurus. I do not have as much as them, but I mean I still do have a lot and I have a lot more than the average typical teenager. So just throwing that out there and if you guys do not like makeup collection videos or tend to get really jealous or tend to just leave hate comments in the comments below, then please exit out of this video. I do not want you to watch it and if you do leave a hate comment, it will be deleted and you will be blocked. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that because I feel like it's so dumb. Like, you click on a makeup collection video just to leave hate comments. Really, are you that insecure about yourself? Are you that much of, like, a bully? So, um, I, I'm just gonna block you if you guys do leave hate comments. And I know most of you guys, and for those of you who've never seen beauty videos before, makeup collection videos are extremely popular and extremely requested. If you don't believe me, go to my other videos. At least five comments in my... All, every single one of my videos is makeup collection and then it gets 10 thumbs ups or stuff like that. So they are extremely requested. So it's not like I'm in my room being like, hmm, I want to brag about all the makeup I have. Like, no, this is requested. That is why I'm doing it. So I'm just throwing that out there. So please do not leave any hate comments. And especially since I stated this disclaimer, I expect no hate comments. And if you do, you will be blocked. So awesome. So I'm just going to get started. And it is, I'm sitting on the floor right now just because my room is not neat. So I don't really want you to see a messy room in the background. And my makeup, my makeup is in my bathroom. So it's not even where I film. So it is in a whole new setting. So yeah, I'm just going to get started with this. And I hope that you guys enjoy. Bye. So this is where I keep all of my makeup. It is just in these drawers, but it's not in all of these drawers it's just in these front two drawers i keep it and i am in my bathroom right now hi um so yeah i'm in my bathroom right now and i just keep it in those two drawers and um i keep it in those drawers just because my mom doesn't like it if it's seen like out on my counter so that's why i have to keep it in my drawers and i do not have that big of a drawer so it's kind of hard now that i keep buying more makeup but i mean it works and i have a lot actually so it actually works perfectly fine. This is it open. So as you can tell, I do have quite a lot of makeup, especially for a 15 year old. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what is in my drawers and everything like that, and yeah. So over here, which is where I just, these aren't kept in drawers obviously, I have my brushes. This is my face brushes, so it has like a bronzer, stippling, foundation, cheek, um, more cheek, contouring, like just anything for the face I have right in this thing. And I got this at Target. And then I got these little beads at Michael's. And then back here I have all of my eye brushes, which is just any eye brush that I find. And then again I got that at Target and the beads at Michael's. And back here, um, it's kind of dark so you can't really tell that well. But I just have a bag, it's a Sephora bag, and I just keep all my makeup that I don't use in there. And then I have some My Glam bags that um, I don't use. And then over here, I have my Kabuki brush and my Makeup Forever powder, finishing powder. And then over here, I have my Johnson's & Johnson's Baby Shampoo because I use this to clean my brushes. And then over here, I have some palettes that don't fit into these drawers. Um, this is my Lancome palette. This is my Too Faced. Both of these are Too Faced, Smoky Eye and Natural Eye. This is my Cheek palette for NARS. This is my Urban Decay Naked palette. This is some NYX Glittery Eyeshadow palette that I got for like $3. And this is my BH Cosmetics palette. Whoa. <laughs> and now in these drawers, this is from Michaels. All of these drawers are from Michaels and these containers, I mean not Michaels, container store, sorry. These are from the container store. This is where I keep my MAC eyeshadows and then I just have these two little foundation things because just in case I need them, but I think I like got these for free or something. Um, but here I just have all of my neutral MAC eyeshadows and I just place them on their side because they don't fit if I put them this way. And I can see the colors through here. So this is that. Um, 
They're, these are all neutral, and these are all colorful MAC eyeshadows. And this should go over here, because I like them all in a row. Okay, so yeah, I just have two of these, and these work really well for MAC eyeshadows, so I really like them. And then in this drawer, I have my primers, and this is all my face primers and all of my eyeshadow primers. In this drawer, I have all of my, des not designer, but like high-end single eyeshadows, except this is a duo from NARS, but I just put it in here because it's not really like a palette. So I just have all of my single high-end eyeshadows, like the MAC ones that don't fit into here because they're bigger. I have in here, I have, this is just like loose powder from Urban Decay. I have Clinique, I have Laura Mercier, I have Smashbox, um, I have um, Bare Minerals, Toki Doki, I have more Bare Minerals. Yeah, just all of the high-end single eyeshadows. Over here, I have all of my drugstore palettes, and I don't have any drugstore single eyeshadows, but if I do, I would put them in here. Um, I have like NYX, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, L'Oreal, Milani, CoverGirl, just all of my eyeshadow palettes that are from the drugstore. Over here, I have all of my eyeshadow palettes that are high-end, so I have my MAC palette that I made myself. I have Chanel, I have Dior back there. I have, oh, it's about to fall. Okay. I have Benefit, I have uh, Smashbox, Urban Decay back there. So I have quite a lot of high end um, palettes. Over here, I have all of my blushes, and I have this is my favorite MAC blush. I'm wearing it today, actually. It is, what is the color? Uh, margin. And then I have my NARS Orgasm. I have my I have my NARS Multiple, I have my Benefit, I have all my Dream Bouncy blushes. I just have a bunch of blushes, so yeah. And then down here, I have all of my samples. And this, most of these I get in my glam bag, or just the department store gives me a ton of samples if I ask them. Um, guys, please do not be afraid to ask the department store for samples, because that's the best way to try out a product, and that's what they're there for. They're there to give you samples. So this is all of my samples. I have a ton of face ones, hair masks. All of the good stuff. Like, I literally could, like, sell all these for money because I have so many of them already. Um, and then I have, like, here I have, like, Chanel um, foundation ones. I have two of them. Like, this is a great way to save money by sampling them. And then I have my eye makeup remover back there that I only use to fix up, like, if my mascara goes on my lid. I don't really use it at night to take off my eye makeup. Now to the other side of the drawer. We were just here, and now we're going here. This drawer has all of my mascaras in my eyelash, or my eyelash, um, curler. This ha is by far my favorite mascara. Oh, just kidding. This one. I just bought it recently. It is my Lancome Hypnos Doll Lashes. I've never tried a better mascara in my life, guys. So, even though it's expensive, it's definitely worth it. This is all of my eyeliners. I have all my gels around here, and then I have just my pencils, and I have my liquids, and I have a little palette with, like, 12 Smashbox mini um, gel liners. And my eye, um, eye pencil, brush, or whatever it's called, sharpener. Okay, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. And then over here, I have all of my face stuff. So this is, like, my cosmetic, or my <laughs> concealer. I have more concealer. I have foundation, more foundation more foundation. I just have like pressed powders, concealer, mineral veal, smashbox. It's like a halo thing. I don't really know. Um, mineral veal, well, or this is well rested actually. And then I have this thing that has sulfur and that you put on top of your pimples and it's like kind of covers them, like conceals them, but it's also like sulfur. So it like prevents them, I guess. Down here I have my bronzers and this is actually a palette of all three, um, bronzer, blush, and brightener. So I keep it in here because it has a bronzer and a brightener. And I actually like this because it tells you, like, how to apply it in the back. Um, so I have this. My Too Faced, I have my Baked Urban Decay Bronzer, Hula Bronzer. I have my Sunbeam. I have Bobbi Brown Highlighter, a Tarte Sample Highlighter. And then I have a Murad, I think it's called. Um, it's a bronzer that you can, like, mix in with your foundation or just apply it to your face. Over here, I have all of my lip stuff, and I actually need to get a, um, a lipstick holder because I don't I have a ton of lipsticks. But will anyone let me know if the lipstick holder that they sell at the container store fits these things? Because I have a lot of Revlon lip butters, and if it doesn't fit like the square ones or anything, then there's no point because I only have like, two MAC lipsticks. So I need one for drugstore. Um, but yeah, I just have a ton of lipsticks and lip glosses and a lot of the Revlon lip butters and a lot of um, just lip stuff. <laughs> 
And then down here is my eyeshadow bases, and I have decided to try out the, the color tattoos. I tried Bad to the Bronze first and fell in love with it, so then I decided to get this pomegranate one, I think it's called. And I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure I'll love it. Um, I actually do need to wear a primer with these, though. They're not as good as MAC Paint Pots for my lid, but for some people, they work awesome. But with a primer, they stay on forever. Um, here I just have all my bases. I have, like, my little jumbo shadow sticks and all of that, and then I have some, um, I don't really know what that is. It's like roll on glimmer, but I didn't have anywhere else to put it. And then I have some more like cream shadows by Urban Decay. And I got these for $3 on sale at their website. So these are awesome. I really like these. I have a ton of colors back there. I have all of my paint pots and my color tattoos. So yeah, this is just a drawer of bases. And this is probably my favorite drawer because I'm obsessed with like these dream shadow or dream, whatever it's called, color tattoos and uh, paint pots. So there you have it. That's my makeup collection. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, so like I said, I don't have as much as other people, but I do have a lot more than the typical teenager. So really hope that you guys enjoyed this and post your makeup collection video at the bottom or the video response because I love watching them to get just new ideas on how to store makeup. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.